Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Um, I made a couple of videos last night uh, concerning the new atheism and genocide. And I'm going to unpack in four videos um, some of my reasoning uh, concerning that. And then I'll leave it with uh, the YouTube community and uh, policy makers and the world press to sort things out. So this is press release a world press release to all government departments in the West and to journalists in the West. It's a four part series. The two people that inform me concerning my videos are John Stuart Mill's Liberty and Dietrich Bonhoeffer, uh, especially his later life. And also I have done extensive research recently in the use <coughs> of demonizing words and the relationship to genocide. Uh, as a theologian I have been working hard researching um, how um, societies use demonizing words and how they are connected to genocide. Now in the Rwanda uh, genocide um, one group called another group cockroaches. Whenever one group went to find the other group to kill they were saying were the cockroaches. The word cockroach demonized people and made people made the um, the violent group look at the cockroaches as not human beings and that led to genocide. And so when people use language to demonize people, uh, it makes people look at them as not human and genocide <coughs> Is, is being prepared, uh, the ground is being prepared for genocide. <clears throat> now, the new atheists have been demonizing Christianity and religious people, and that means that people will not be seen as human. So, for example, Richard Dawkins uh, has said continually that it's child abuse to teach your children uh, creationism. Uh, six day creation that is child abuse to call your child uh, a Christian child if you're a Christian family. Now that might seem oh well that's his opinion but that's a very serious departure in Western discourse. Um, that has not been known in Western discourse uh, since the Second World War. That is demonizing language and that will make the public look at Christians as child abusers. And when the public look at Christians as child abusers they will, Christians will be seen and religious people will be seen as not human and when they're seen as not human you're in territory where genocide could happen. Uh, now I'm not saying the new atheists are trying to do this, I'm not saying Richard Dawkins is trying to bring genocide but what I am saying that his language is preparing the ground for genocide in the next 10 to 20 years time. And so it's up to you as the world press, it's up to you as governments to put a stop to this kind of rhetoric and to realise that religious people have a central role to play in our Western democracies and they are equal partners with you who are secularist. And if you don't pull up and bring that to bear and say, OK, religious people are equal with us in the secular realm, then you will bring a demonisation of the religious demonization religious leads to religious not being seen as human when they are not seen as human that we are open in our western democracies to genocide 